and creators. Welcome to Miss Honey's classroom. My name is Miss Honey. Can you blow and throw me your name? <gasps> Caught it. I'm so happy you're here today because guess what day it is? It's center time. It's center time. Let's create something great. I love centers, boys and girls. You know how much I love centers because this is when we take what we've learned in our very smart brains and then we get to create something great. We get to show what we know. And I have some wonderful centers. Now this is a great center day. We're kind of doing a marathon of centers. That means we have a lot of centers that we are going to be doing today. We have pattern centers. We have book centers. We are going to be doing centers with letter L that makes the O sound. Can you make that sound? O. So we're going to be doing some centers with letter L. We are also going to be doing centers with number three. Now, there are 12 centers in all. Whoa, 12 centers. That is a lot of learning and creating. So buckle up, boys and girls, because we're about to do so much learning. Now, before we get started, let's turn on our brains full blast. We're really going to need all of our brain power today. And let's warm up our hands. You know, we got to do that because when you create something great, you use your hands a lot. I'm going to show you some of the centers that we're going to be doing today, but because there's kind of a lot of centers, I'm going to save some of them for surprises. Now, if you have some blocks, I call them unifix cubes or linking blocks. You can get those out. You could also use different blocks if you have those and you are going to be making some letters, letter L with your blocks. And you're also going to be placing your blocks on L words today. Give me a thumbs up if you love Play-Doh Smash. Oh, one of my favorite centers. I love Play-Doh Smash. And we're gonna be doing a Play-Doh Smash with letter L. We're also gonna be doing a Play-Doh Smash with number three. This next one is a new center for all of you who like to play games. I have a dice with different colors on it. We're going to roll the dice and then depending, my dice has different colors, depending on what color we roll, we are going to color different leaves. This is a color center. So you're going to show what you know about colors. We're going to go on a letter L hunt. I'm going to show you one more. We are going to show what we know about circles. Can you already see some circles on this side? Oh boy, I have a lot more fun ones. So come along with me and let's start showing what we know together. All right, friends, are you ready to create something great today during center time? For our first activity, we are going to play a game. We're going to play a rolling color game. We're going to roll and color today. So the directions say to roll the dice and then we're going to say the color and whatever color we say is the color that we're gonna color the leaf. So let's roll. And we got orange as our color. So I'm gonna find my orange pencil here and I'm going to color my leaf orange. All right, let's roll again. What color do you think it's gonna be next? Hmm, I wonder what color it will be. 
Oh, this time it's this pretty dark purple. Don't you love it when the leaves change color during the fall and you have all these pretty new colors? I think the closest I can get to the dark purple is kind of this color right here. Let's color my next leaf. Sort of a bluish purple. wonder what will be next. Green is next. You know, still some of our leaves are a little bit green during the fall sometimes too. They're still gonna change color. Color my next leaf green. What will be next? Purple again. Well, this one looks like it could be purple too, I'm thinking. Maybe we should do a different shade of purple, huh? Let's see how this looks. Yeah, this is kind of a dark, deep purple, huh? Looks pretty too. Oh, another orange. Okay, let's roll again. Oh, that purple again. Let's use our dark purple again. What's your favorite color leaf when you go out for a walk in the fall? I really like the bright reds and oranges that I see. Oh, what's that color? Brown, we haven't done brown yet. Let's find our brown colored pencil. I see it right here. Let's color our leaf brown. Okay, look at all those pretty colored leaves. Isn't that nice to see all those different colors? Three more to go. Oh, red. Let's choose a nice bright red. Let's color that big one red, since red is one of our favorite colors. All right, two more to go. Let's see what color comes next. <gasps> green, green again. Okay, let's get our green. One more leaf. Orange again. Now, if you wanted to take this center a step further, what you could do if you really like cutting with scissors is you could cut out all these little leaves and color the tree trunk brown and you could paste it all on a piece of paper and make a colorful, a colorful tree. Let's move on to the next center. Please subscribe to Learn With Us and press the bell notification. Our next center is a number center. For this center, we're going to be practicing the number three, and we are going to need some cubes right here. 
um, any kind of object. I'm using pom-poms today, but really you can use anything that's gonna fit in your 10 frame. And any crayons or markers, anything that you can use to do a drawing. Are you ready to build the number three? We are going to build the number three using our Unifix cubes. So let's start breaking apart our Unifix cubes to make the number three. How fun is that, that we are going to build the number three using cubes, that's so cool. So we can actually link two together, right? Like that. And then one here. One here, and it looks like I have two that I can stick together going that way. And I have a great green number three. Now I'm going to show three, and I can draw three of any of my favorite things. Hmm, what is your favorite thing? You could draw flowers, hearts, soccer balls. What is your favorite thing? Well, for me, I really enjoy spending time doing centers with you, so I'm going to draw hearts to show how much I enjoy spending time with you. One heart, two hearts, three hearts, three hearts for you. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna build three. Remember, we have 10 squares. Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And guess how many of these squares we're gonna fill up. That's right, we're gonna fill up three of these squares. Now you can fill them up with anything. Any little toy that you have, piece, pieces of candy, little cookies, whatever you have that will fit in these squares. I'm gonna use pom-poms. One, two, three, 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 three. Great job showing three in three different ways. All right, the last part is to trace the three. Now you could trace the three using a pencil or crayon or a marker, or if you're not ready for that yet, that is okay. You could just trace the three using your finger. We start with a T going down and then across, and then an H going down and then a hump. R goes down, and then a little rainbow, and then an E is a straight line across. We go up and around. Let's try that again. Straight line across, up and around. So remember, if you're not ready to use pencil yet, it's okay. Just practice with your finger, your magic finger. Okay, great job. Let's move on to the next one. All right, friends, let's go on an L hunt with my magic magnifier. Now, do you remember what sound L makes? It makes the O, O, O sound, like in lion and lollipop. And capital L looks just like this. It has a straight line and then a line at the bottom after that. And lowercase l is just a stick, kind of looks like the number one. The directions say to find and circle each letter L. Now it's kind of tricky because we have capital L's and lowercase l's mixed in with other letters. So help me find those L's. Let's see. Let's look at this first letter. Yes, R or no on this one. Definitely is a lowercase L. 
O O O L. So that one gets a circle from me. Now, what about this one? That's an L too. Is it capital or lowercase? That is a capital L. Does anyone's name start with an L? Like Lillian or Lyle? What's the next letter? That's not an L. Does anyone know what letter that is? That's a P, P, P like for popcorn. That does not, that is not an L. Let's go on to the next one. Right by our doggy's foot. What letter is that? That is an L. It's just a stick. So that is lowercase l. So that gets a circle. What's this one? This is an L too. Is it upper or lowercase? That is uppercase. So we get to circle that one. What about this letter? Anyone know what letter this is? It's not an L. It is a N, N like in the word no and nose. Not an L. Let's go on to this letter. Is it yes or no? This is a yes. It's another uppercase L. I have a line and then another line at the bottom. Uppercase L. Oh, what's this? This is not an L. Anyone know what this is? This is one of our vowels. This is vowel E. Anyone know what sound it makes? It makes the F sounds like an elephant, but it also makes the long sound where it says its name. It says E. This one. This is a lowercase L, so we get to circle it. Because remember, we are on an L hunt. What about this letter? Not an L, but what is it? It's a k, 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 C, not an L, so put an imaginary X, like in cat, C makes the k sound. What about this letter? This is an uppercase L. Straight line, and then a line at the bottom, so we get to circle that one. Ooh, look at this fun letter. Straight line, circle, and then a little rainbow. That is capital R. Er, 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 R. Okay, let's count how many L's we found. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven L's. Good job on your L hunt. Ready for the next one? All right, friends. Next up is a Play-Doh smash. Now for Play-Doh smash, we first build the, the number that we're working with, either the number or the letter, because we do Play-Doh smash with both. We're gonna do number three today. We're first going to build the number three, and then after that comes the fun part. We get to find the number three, and whenever we find something that is three, we get to make a ball and then smash it. Super fun. So the way that we ever build a number or a letter is we make what's called a Play-Doh snake. And that makes it super easy for us to make these long pieces that we need. 
to make our numbers and letters. Got half of it on there. So number three sort of just looks like, sort of like two circles, right? But half of the circle is missing. So two half circles. or even like two letter C's going the wrong way. Think of it like that too. All right, so we built our number three. Are you ready to smash it? So to smash it, we make a ball and then we wait until we find one we can smash. Okay, let's look at this first one here. Can we smash it? We have one, two, three, four. Okay, we're looking for three. We're looking for three. So four is one more than three, right? So we can't smash that one. Let's look at these tally marks. Remember, tally marks is another way to show how many of something that you have. Keep track of how many of something. We have one, two, three. Yep, you get a smash. Let's smash it and smash. Let's go on to the next one. Look at this 10 frame. We have 10 squares and how many of them have a dot inside? One, two, three. Three of them have a dot that shows three, so you know what that means. Smash. Oh, that's so fun. This is good, smashable Play-Doh too. Okay, let's go on to our green blob here. Count with me how many dots. One, two, three. Another three. We're getting to do lots of smashes today. One, two, three. Smash! Yay! Okay, count with me our next blue blob. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's way more than three, so can't smash that. All right, that's it for this center. Ready for the next one? Let's go. All right, friends. This is a shape center. What you're gonna need for this one is some crayons or colored pencils or markers. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna trace the circle. Now you could either trace the circle with your finger or you could use a marker or colored pencil or crayon. And then we're gonna color the things that are circles. We have some objects here and some of them are shaped like circles and some of them are not. So let's start by tracing the circle. Now you could trace it with your magic finger, round and round and round, or you could choose your favorite color and you can trace it with your pencil or marker or crayon. All right, let's go through each shape. What's this first one here? This is a, an insect. What kind of insect is that? That's a ladybug. And go figure, it starts with the O sound, our letter L, and it's also a circle. All right, usually ladybugs are what two colors? Usually they are black and red. They have black spots. Black heads usually, right? And red bodies.
yummy food over here. What is that? A pizza pie. Looks like a pepperoni pizza pie because I see a big circle where the pizza pan is and then I see little circles inside that look like little pepperonis. So I'm going to color the little pepperonis first. squares. Those are squares. And then here, do you know what this is? This is a wedge. A wedge of cheese. It's kind of shaped like a triangle, isn't it? Now let's move on to this shape. This is something we eat off of. This is a plate. You could color that anything you want because that is a circle. So you could color any color you want. It's definitely in the shape of a circle though. Round and round and round. Look at this cute thing. This is a flag. It's in the shape of a rectangle. And how cute is that? It has a little heart right there. But can't color it because it's not a circle. That looks like a what? Looks to me like it's an orange. And it is in the shape of a circle, so we can definitely color that. coloring our circles and tracing our circle. Okay, let's move on, see what's next. This next center is a building center with letter L, makes the O sound. And for this center, you're gonna be needing blocks. You could use pretty much any blocks that you have or anything that's block shaped. And any markers or crayons or colored pencils, you're gonna be building it and then tracing it with either your magic finger or your marker or pencil. Let's start building with blocks. Starting with the straight line down, we're building capital L. be lowercase l, wouldn't it? Because lowercase l is just a stick, but we're going to make it uppercase l by adding a another stick at the bottom. And now we're going to trace it. Now we can trace it with our magic finger, or if you like to write with your pencil, you can start practicing that as well. You do a straight line down, and then a straight line across. Straight line down, straight line across. Straight line down, straight line across. Straight line down, straight line across. Are you ready to try it with your pencil? Start at the top, the very top line. Straight line down straight line across. So remember, just three little lines is all it takes. And right now we're making straight lines, aren't we? Straight lines down and straight lines across. 
just want to try to make sure that our L's are the right size, that they're touching the top and that they're touching the bottom. Great job. Let's see what's next. Okay, friends, here is a fun pattern center. So I have different pictures here that I can build an AB pattern with. And if your grown up would like to print any of these materials up, I will link that in the description box below. But also, you could just use your own objects or pictures at home. You could even use pieces of candy or cereal or little things that you have at home to make your own AB patterns. I have little pictures here. I have four different types of pictures. I have acorns, apples, leaves, and looks like these are flowers. How cute. And I'm going to make AB patterns using my different pictures. And it's fun because I get to kind of choose what pictures that I get to, to do. Now I have AB, AB, which means I have one thing and then another thing, one thing and then another thing. Now could I do an apple, then a leaf, then a flower, then an acorn. Could I do all four pictures? I couldn't. I could only do two of the pictures, right? Because I have to do the same two things repeating over and over again. Remember, that's what a pattern is, not again. It's the same things repeating over and over again. And sometimes you'll have more than two things that repeat again. But with an A B pattern, I only have two things. That's what the A is for and that's what the B is for. The A is for the one thing and then the B is for the next things. And there's only two, right? An A and a B and an A and a B. There's no C or D. So I have to stick with just two objects. So let's do apples and leaves to start. Apple, leaf, what will come next? Apple or leaf? That's right, it's gonna be apple, then leaf, then apple, then leaf, then apple, then leaf. Okay, now that I've used those two things, now I can take those off and I can choose two other new things to use. I just can't use them all at once, right? So now I can choose two new things that can repeat. So I have acorns and flowers. Let's try it with that. Acorn, flower, Acorn, flower. Who loves patterns? I know we say not again, but I sure do love patterns. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh boy, for this center, you're going to need Play Doh again because we're doing another Play Doh smash. Now, not too long ago, we did a Play Doh smash using number three, and now we're going to do our letter Play Doh smash smash using Play-Doh to build the letter L. And then we are going to get to smash the pictures that start with the O sound. Are you ready to make your Play-Doh snake? Let's roll it out. Letter L is not too hard to build, is it? because it's made out of straight lines. Number three maybe was a little trickier because we had those curved lines. Let's break that off. Making Play-Doh letters is so fun. It's a great way to learn how your letters look. Okay, I got my capital L. Now I just do my straight line, my stick for my lowercase L. Oh, 
All right, so now that I know how letter L looks, I get to practice how it sounds. Let's look at the pictures and figure out which ones start with ol so we can smash. Now, what is this vegetable that is in my first yellow blob? It is a k -k carrot. That's definitely not the ol sound. Although you are yummy carrot, you are not the ol sound. But this is also a yummy treat and it is a lollipop, lollipop, and that makes a whole sound. So guess what? I get to do a smash. Yay. Now, what is this? This next car looks like a Jeep. J, J, Jeep. Definitely not the old sound, so I don't get to smash it. Let's look at my red blob. It has a purple leaf. Leaf. I hear ol at the beginning of leaf. That is the L sound. So I get to smash. So fun. Look at this creature. What is that? That is a lion. Looks like a pretty friendly lion. And he does start with the L sound. Look, look, lion. So we do get to smash our lion. One, two, three, smash. Yay. All right, we are having so much fun doing our centers. And even though we've been doing a lot of centers, we keep going and learning because it's so much fun and you guys are doing a great job. Let's see what's next. We have a number sort here of things that are three and things that are not three. So we have to sort our picture cards into the side that is either three or not three, depending what's on our picture card. So let's pull our first card here and see what we find. I see some leaves in a 10 frame and there are one, two, three, four. Now that is not three, four is one more than three. So I'm gonna put that on the not three side. Let's pull our next card. On our next card, I have tally marks. I have one, two, three tally marks. That is a yes. Thumbs up for that, because that is three. That goes on my thumbs up side. Looks like I have some dots. Let's count how many dots I have. One, two, three, four, Five. Five dots. That's two more than three, right? Five is two more than three. So that's going to go on my not three side because it's more than three. Next card. I have some dominoes. I do see three here. One, two, three, but look down here. I see one more and that gives me four. So it's close, but I have to put it on the not three side. More dots on this card. Looks like I have one, two, three. So there's one I can put on the three side. Thumbs up for that one. Here's another leaf picture. I have one, two, three leaves. So that goes on the three side. And look at that. I have three pictures on the three side and three pictures on the not three side. All right, that was fun. Let's see what is next. 
for this center, I have more tracing with letter L that makes the old sound. And I have an uppercase L here and a lowercase L, and they're both in L, L leaves. And you can see that you start at the dot, you go down and then across, and for lowercase L, you start at the dot, and then you go down. Now, if you want to, you can just trace with your finger, your magic finger, or you can use different colors to trace your L's. That's kind of fun to do rainbow writing. So for uppercase L, you can trace your letters in different colors. Go down and across then choose a different color. Go down and across. I wonder what color I'll choose next. Let's do green. down and across down and across now sometimes boys and girls it's better just to go nice and slow and to take your time just do a few really good letters instead of trying to do a whole bunch of letters really fast now our lowercase l is just a straight line down, it's just a stick. So I'm gonna try to exercise my fingers so I can do nice, steady, straight line down. Let's start with pink. Nice. Touching the top all the way to the bottom. And whoosh, like you're going on a slide that goes really fast, straight down. Let's try purple next. Start at the top and all the way down and then stop. Try to make sure you're touching the top and touching the bottom. Start at the top and touch it and then all the way down and then stop. Start at the top, all the way down and then stop. And one more color. Start at the top, go all the way down, and then stop. Great job with those colorful colors, those colorful L's. Our next center is another building center, but instead of building with Play-Doh or with blocks, we're going to be using Unifix cubes again, but you can use any sort of cubes or blocks you have at home. So what we're going to start with is capital L. I have lots of different colored Unifix cubes here. I'm going to count out first how many Unifix cubes I need for my straight line down. Can you count with me, please? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's count out and link together nine Unifix cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whoopsie, nine. Okay, got that done. Now, how about my straight line across? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now let's see how many I need for my lowercase l. Looks like it's gonna be about the same as I needed for um, my uppercase l, which was nine, right? Because they're the same length. So let's do nine for lowercase l. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 
fun using unifix cubes with these letters that have straight lines, huh? Those are the only letters you can probably use blocks and cubes with. Super fun and colorful. Now let's look at our pictures here, our letter L pictures. We have a l -l llama and a light and a leaf. All right, I think that we have one more center to go. Let's see what our last center is. All right, friends, for our last center, we get more practice with letter L. This is our letter L book. And when we open it up, we get to write the letter L again. Remember, we have a straight line down and then across. Straight line down and then across for capital L. And for lowercase l, just a straight line down. And just a straight line down again. Let's see what's on the next page. Oh, color it. We get to color in our bubble L. Kind of looks like those big balloons that are in the shape of letters. What's gonna be next? Oh, what pictures begin with L? I have a leaf. Leaf makes the old sound. I'm going to color my leaf green. Now what about light bulb? That starts with L. So we get to color that one. And what about lollipop? That starts with an L too. Lollipop. Yummy, yummy. Ball. Nope. Put an X over ball. Elephant. No. Ball starts with a B, B, B. Elephant starts with an E, E, E. But llama, llama starts with a O, L. The color our llama. So we have a leaf, a light bulb, a lollipop, and a llama that we colored. We did not color our elephant and our ball. Let's see what's on the next page. Ooh, the bubble L again. Our balloon L that we get to trace. Either with your magic finger or your colorful markers or crayons. Can you find your L? Can you find your L's with your magic magnifying glass? Where are you, L's? Okay, what is this first letter here? Definitely not an L. Does anyone know what that is? S, -s, -s makes this sound. Now what about that? That is a capital L. Circle it. That is a lowercase L. Let's circle that. Another lowercase L looks like a stick. What about that one? That is the first letter of the alphabet. A lowercase a, a, a. It's also a vowel. What about this one? Lowercase l. I'm seeing lots of l's. This is an uppercase l. And another uppercase l. Oh, sort of looks like an l, but it's not an l, is it? It's an uppercase i. Makes an i or i sound. It's a vowel. Great job with centers today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed learning and creating, you fabulous creative learners. And if you want any of the materials that you saw today, please look in the description box below or use what you have at home. 
and I hope that you like and subscribe to the channel and I really enjoyed learning with you today. I hope that you join us on the next one. Bye-bye. Oh boy, Urkel. Wasn't that so fun doing centers with all of our smart learners out there? Wow, boys and girls. That was a lot of working, but that was also so much fun and your brains are growing so, so smart. And we just love learning and creating with you. So please subscribe to Miss Honey's Classroom and stay tuned for more learning videos. Have a great day, boys and girls. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.